Today is a very special episode. Uh, definitely a long time in the making. This has been a dream of mine. guys, welcome back to another episode here at Full Throttle. Thank you very much for tuning in on today's episode. And if this is your first time at the Full Throttle YouTube page, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell as well for notifications on any new uploads to the channel. Uh, today is a very special episode, uh, definitely a long time in the making. This has been a dream of mine uh, well before uh, the YouTube channel has even started. Uh, but this is super exciting for me and hopefully you guys will enjoy uh, the episode as well. Uh, but as you saw from a little bit of a, a B-roll clip there, as well as the thumbnail and title, I'm sure you guys already know what's going on. Uh, but today I am showing you guys the brand new official full throttle headquarters. So I'm super stoked about this. This means so much to me and, and especially a huge bonus for the channel as well to bring you guys bigger and better content. Uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's show you guys around. Um, so of course you're already seeing outside the front view of the garage here we are inside I do apologize on the mess as we have just moved in not long ago uh, so there is tons of stuff everywhere um, I was in a rush to get the cars in before winter and we're definitely going to be doing uh, a garage build series as well so I want uh, of course the floors done the walls uh, new lighting better lighting because um, Definitely, it's pretty bright in here. It is daytime, so I'm getting some ambient light through the door, uh, but we definitely need to upgrade the lighting. Um, need to get a big air compressor in here, run air lines, electrical. Um, we need cabinets, we need benches, we need uh, hopefully the epoxy floor possibly. Not sure, definitely leave your thoughts down in the comments if we should go with an epoxy floor or DIY. Uh, maybe get a professional company in to do that. Let me, know, let me know what you guys think on that. I'm gonna switch the camera around here, give you guys a better personal view of the garage and show you guys what else there is to see. All right guys, so off to the right, like I said, we have this kind of third bay area uh, that's kind of underneath the, the stairs. So I'm not quite sure. I'm thinking we're gonna do some sort of uh, workbench, um, storage, tools, that sort of thing in the corner. Definitely, if you have any ideas, let me know down below, but I'm hoping to still have uh, enough space to fit a third car over in there, at least for storage uh, during those winter months. Uh, as you can see, we do have uh, a big beam going straight across the garage uh, with two posts, one a jack post and one a built-in post. So I guess first off the bat, I'm gonna be reaching out to a few local companies and uh, I want to, I guess, see what our options are with removing these posts. I would love a nice wide open bay that would allow me to move the cars around much easier, more space to work and uh, kind of play around with. And of course, it'd be nice to have those posts out of the way just for visual aspects as well. Uh, so I have reached out to a few companies uh, regarding a steel beam. I'm getting some quotes done on that right now. And that will give me the opportunity to then figure out the floor. And then of course, what we're doing in this corner with workbenches, tool accessories, that sort of thing. So if you guys wanna see anything particular, be sure to reach out, leave your thoughts uh, or comments down below. Otherwise, we do have um, the SLK, of course, sitting in front of us. Um, cover pulled off as well. She is nice and clean. We'll hopefully have some videos coming up on it real soon. And then, of course, we have some underfloor storage as well as uh, a drain. So I'm going to do some research. I need to probably get a professional plumber out, take a look at the drain to see if that is tied into the municipal sewage or not. And if it is or if it isn't, I'm hoping that we'll be able to um, get it hooked up because I'd love to have a proper drain out here, even a toilet and a sink. Um, even a sink at the least would be very nice to wash up. I do need to get some water ran out to here as well. We don't have any water lines, uh, but that is something we'll definitely be looking into as well. So there's lots of opportunity, guys. I'm just so excited. If you can't tell, um, so many options. Uh, I just can't wait to make this our own and the official full throttle headquarters. So. I'll bring these back around here. And we got the C63, as I've mentioned earlier, sitting pretty. 
Um, calipers are holding up great, by the way. If you didn't see that episode, be sure to check that out. Uh, we'll be doing an update on those as well. Uh, so we do have the third bay. Now there is a bit of a, a secret sitting in here. I'm sure you can already tell by the trailer. We won't go into too much detail on that, but this is an extra storage bay. I'm honestly thinking in this third base, um, do again for winter storage. I'm hoping we're gonna be replacing this main beam, uh, getting rid of that jack post. That'll allow me to actually pull in a car beside uh, the project boat as well. But I'm almost thinking a uh, possibility of doing this bay as almost a paint booth set it up in that essence. And I'll show you why I'm thinking that in a few minutes as well. But I'd like uh, definitely somewhere to be able to paint cars, do modifications, anything like that. And of course, with this project coming up here, guys, like I said, I won't go into too much detail, but you definitely want to stay tuned. It's a 1974 HydroStream Vector with a 140 horse, two stroke Evinrude power unit on the back. Um, lots of work to do, lots, it's a huge project, but I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride with that. Definitely don't tell anybody, that's kind of a, a bit of a secret. I haven't released that on the channel yet, so you guys get a little bit of an inside scoop for tuning in today. Uh, but otherwise guys, we have about a one and a half car garage sitting here. So it's tons of room guys. We have pretty high ceilings. They're definitely not as high as I really, my, I really hoped. Um, Cause at the moment we don't really have enough room height clearance for a jack or not a jack, sorry, a, a car lift. Um, so we're gonna look into some options there, reach out. Um, as you guys know, we do have those quick jacks, which are fantastic, but with a garage this size, and uh, of course, for the full throttle headquarters, I really was hoping we could get a full size lift in here. Uh, but I think we're only about nine foot uh, to the joists, if I'm not mistaken. So it's definitely not leaving us a lot of room uh, for a full size lift. I, I don't honestly think it's possible unless we did some heavy modifications to the floor and raised it up or something like that. Um, so if there are any companies out there, I know there's a few other uh, max jacks, I think they're called. They're a little bit shorter, uh, portable vehicle lifts for low ceiling clearances. Um, definitely need to do more research. If you guys are watching this, please reach out if, if you guys think uh, your product would work in the garage, because uh, I'm definitely going to be looking into some other solutions with that. Now, the other thing, guys, if you've noticed, when I first came in, we do have a set of stairs. And of course, I showed you the SLK under the stairs. Uh, so there is an upstairs to the garage. So let's go check that out now. All right, guys, and here we are, the upstairs. Again, do not mind the mess. Everything has just been kind of placed everywhere. Uh, but as you can see, we have this huge upstairs with endless possibilities. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do. I got all the, a lot of the garage stuff. Um, lubricant oils, of course, our all our OEM man filters for the fleet. Um, tons of stuff. Again, don't mind the mess. We have so much to do. Uh, I just wanted to get you guys out here to see, um, I guess, the, the new full throttle headquarters. So lots of opportunity up here. We have a huge space with tons of natural light coming in. Now, as you guys uh, remember there just a moment ago, I kind of mentioned uh, about the third bay over as a possibility of a paint booth. Um, it's something that I've really, over the years, really could have used uh, a proper space with ventilation uh, that I could spray vehicles. It's something I've been thinking, and the biggest reason why is behind me right now, we got these two doors, and the original owner, as I mentioned, had a construction shop up here basically building cabinets, and he would paint or uh, coat them, urethane them, whatever you need to do. So he actually had um, a mini paint booth up here. So in, in the roll, he has the vents already pre-built. Uh, you'd pull out those those cap or the you pull out those sections. They are vented to the outside. Right in here, as you can see, is actually a vented hood. So this is a big unit he has with proper vents. And uh, as you can see, up in here, hopefully the lighting's not too bad, but we have a huge exhaust fan. Um, I do believe we're sitting at like a 30 inch, I'll, I'll have to double measure it, uh, but a 30 inch exhaust. And what that does is with these doors closed, basically has a paint booth. Like I said, those vents down bottom, they pull out. Actually, I can show you that real quick. And we have fresh air being sucked from the outside. And then of course, any overspray 
uh, fumes being sucked out of the hood through the filter so we have no overspray going to the outside and then we have nice fresh air in here while painting any products. So my idea behind this is to actually carry this huge hood, the vent hood, down through into the floor downstairs and that would give me a dedicated suction out. I'd have to add some additional vents in that third bay. Um, but trust me with that fan, let's see if we can kick it on. You guys can't really see it, but hopefully you can hear that, it's quite loud. Um, but with that ton of suction, we can hopefully vent this down through the floor and suck out any fumes down there and create almost a paint booth uh, effect in that third bay is my hope. Um, so lots could change guys. I need your guys' help with this garage build series, but be sure to stay tuned as we have a ton of stuff coming your way, uh, especially with the, the garage series build, the new build series for the channel. Um, we're gonna do electrical, plumbing, um, garage floor. We're gonna have to do, uh, modify up a, a paint booth, uh, suction out, like I said, to connect that downstairs. Uh, we're gonna need to reach out to some tool companies. We need tool benches, tool chests, tool storage, uh, tool um, garage lighting. Uh, there's so much we gotta do guys. It's gonna be a huge process, but I'm thankful for you guys to be here and come along for the ride and help me out along the way. I'm sure there's lots of professionals out there in this field as well. So if again, any recommendations, always reach out. I greatly appreciate your guys' help. Hopefully this video isn't too long and you guys enjoyed today's episode. It's just kind of a quick brief one to kind of show you guys the new full throttle headquarters. And uh, I guess just bring you guys, like I said, along for the ride and show you guys one of my dreams come true. This has been a long time in the making and I'm so thankful to be able to share it with you and uh, your guys' help as well to continue to bring you bigger and better content. So we have the, the new Garage Build series on the radar. It's coming up real soon. Um, definitely lots to do. I got lots of stuff to put away. And then as the months get start to get warmer, I'm already reaching out to the, the steel company about a steel beam. Uh, that'll be a DIY as well we'll be doing so definitely stay tuned for that and then once we get that figured out We can get the floors figured out whether we're going to do an epoxy or a tile um, Not quite sure what we're going to go that route quite yet And then of course we got to do electrical wiring plumbing um, insulation Tons of stuff guys tons of stuff, but super excited to be able to start, start this process with you guys And of course you guys got the sneak peek as well with that new boat restoration uh, We'll definitely have lots of more details on that So be sure to check out and wait for that uh, episode coming real soon And I actually I got uh, another surprise up my sleeve for you guys as well So hit that bell hit that subscribe button stay tuned We have a ton of episodes coming your way that you're not gonna want to miss out guys and until next time You know what to do Keep right full throttle.